Hello YouTube, all control here. This is an unofficial part 2 of the Real Pars bottle filling process PLC program video. I'm using Alan Bradley's MicroLogic Starter Light program uh, for my project. Notice that part 1 covered uh, first and second tasks of PLC programming. Task 1, define the task. Task 2, define the inputs and outputs. So for this video, I'm going to cover tasks 3, 4, and 5. Task 3 is developing a logical sequence of operation. In this case, I developed a block diagram as a substitute. Basically, this thing has an off mode, auto mode, and a manual mode. And in manual, we can open the valve, move, uh, move forward, move motor forward, and move uh, motor in reverse by pressing the momentary push buttons and uh, when we put it to auto mode we need to hit the start button uh, once we hit the start button motor moves forward when photo the middle photo eye is blocked motor stops valve opens seven seconds later valve closes motor moves forward when the middle photo eye is blocked again motor stops and valve opens and this continuous operation stops once we hit the stop input uh, push button. Task 4 is PLC uh, program development. So here's my program. Actual sequence of uh, uh, automatic operation doesn't actually begin just by putting it to auto. You have to hit the uh, start push button for for it to work. So because of that, I defined an internal bit called auto uh, auto run mode, basically, and um, we have to be in auto. To be able to do that and uh, once we hit the start push button it seals and our stop push button is uh, normally closed so once we hit that the seals broken and uh, we're no longer in auto run mode counting bottles empty and filled bottles uh, when the respective photo eyes are blocked um, we count up and we can do that both in manual and auto run mode valve discharge timer can only happen in auto run mode and when the middle photo eye is blocked and it will count for seven seconds valve discharge we can open the valve in manual mode by pressing the momentary push button or we can be in auto run mode and at the same time our metal photo eye has to be blocked and at the same time we have to be timing. Motor forward and motor reversed. Uh, for motor reverse, we can, we can only reverse the motor in manual mode and we press the momentary push button. For motor forward, that can happen both in auto and manual mode. In manual mode, we press the momentary push button. In auto mode, motor will move forward uh, unless if the photo motor move forward will move forward if we're in auto mode and when we're not when the middle uh, photo eye is not blocked unless if the timer is done so even though uh, for a split second when the photo eye is blocked when the timer is done this will motor move forward And uh, for manual 
and auto modes we have lights and finally uh, we can uh, reset the counters with a push button this will ensure that we won't count the same bottle twice so uh, if the photo eye is blocked and we hit the uh, reset button goes to zero but it's gonna it's gonna count one again because the photo eye is blocked so this ensures that it doesn't do that so when you press the momentary push button uh, when the photo eye is blocked or when you're counting you're not going to be able to reset it and uh, we can reset both in manual and in auto mode task five is testing the PLC program I'll go online with the program run mode So note that because uh, stop uh, is a normally closed push button, uh, it should be green right now. Uh, and uh, we are in off mode because we're not in auto mode and we're not in manual mode. So I'm going to switch to auto mode. And as you can see, my valve's not discharged, my motor's not moving. until I press the momentary push button and then I let it go the auto run mode seals and right now I'm in auto run mode and motor is moving forward motor is moving forward uh, the first bottle uh, hits photo eye number one the empty bottle counts up empty bottle counter counts up and then it hits the metal photo eye so let's see where we are right now motor is still moving forward it hits the metal photo eye we start counting M motor stopped valve is discharging valve stops discharging after seven seconds and motor moves forward And then the filled bottle will now hit the third photo eye and count up. And as you can see, we're in auto, so we have the auto light on. And finally, I will reset the count. So both counters went to zero as a result. Uh, obviously you can do uh, more testing for this, but I'm going to leave it at this. Thank you for watching my video.